Hey, what's up, guys, and how's it going? My name is Fungi D, and welcome to Remother Tormented Fathers. This game came out in 2018, and I am now just getting to it because I'm trying to catch up on all the old horror games that I have missed back uh, 2018 all the way to 2021. So, uh, yeah, welcome to Remother. Anyway, uh, I heard that this is a nice story driven game, so my face cam will be all for the cutscenes. You guys will still be able to hear my reactions, but not see it. But, um, yeah, with that being said, let's just do new game. I uh, want to say thank you all for your support on the channel, by the way. Keep up the great work. Uh, sorry for not playing many uh, horror games also. Just been playing Rage 2. I really like that, so don't worry. I'm going to get back into that for those of you that actually liked it. Um, but, yeah. Anyway, that being said, let's just get into this. Um, yeah, all I can say is, um. So, is it all true? What have you heard already? That illness. It thickened the bones. It accelerated the healing process and tissue regeneration. Is that all true? Every word. But if that's what it was doing, why call it an illness? The Lepidopterans made a nest out of the human body where they could eat and multiply. An illness is what it is. But then? Where do you want me to start? From the beginning. Uh, I'm old, Mr. Manny. My memory is not one of my strong points. Well, for example, why do they call you Madame Svenska? A name is just a trace. It is our business card, our identifier. It presents us to the world. But does it tell our story or... Really describe who we are? I swear I know three or four idiots with the same exact name. <laughs> well, yes. But we are not made of that name. It is given to us. Other people choose it for us, whether it suits us or not. It doesn't tell us who we really are. That name will not give us any answers. It is only through growing old that we become the answer to the questions of our childhood. And living in Sweden the last 30 years has definitely inspired this affectionate moniker. And so, Madame Svenska, it is. And yet you come back to Italy. Why? Because I forgot. But I also forgot that I had promised to remember. Tell me. Please excuse me. Sometimes my memory needs to be jogged. There's always been a song that, as well as the name you refer to so much, has labeled my whole life, has given it a name, and it's from a name. If you can believe how bizarre and sometimes unbelievable my confused memories are to describe the all this began. Say goodbye, heart it was from my hand. If you lift me, sure you miss me. If you fly.
Oh! Feels like it's gonna rain again. This game looks so fucking promising, guys. Anyway, um, yeah, I have very high faith in this game so far. I mean, really? I think I'm gonna be in for an experience. Anyway, um, if I get copyright for the beginning part, that's okay. I really want all the money that's gonna be made from this video, which is gonna be none, uh, to go to the developer or to the soundtrack artist for this. Anyway, um, yeah, I think I just go to the left or something. There's the missing poster over here. Uh, missing lost child F Celeste Felton. Okay, missing Thursday, uh, October 12th, 1971. Last seen 4 p.m. at the recreation ground in whatever that is. They date of birth. Okay, that's all cool. That's not really important right now. Irrelevancy is high. All right, why we run like this? Oh no. Oh no, I'm not gonna be having a fun time if we just run like this. All right, uh, let's see what we have here. What is all this? I always feel anxious when looking at some icons, icons and mirrors. Oh my goodness. If I sound a little stuffy, that's because like my allergies are acting up. I apologize about that. Who is it? Yes, hello. I'm Dr. Reed from the Santa Margarita Institute. I'm sorry, but Mr. Margarita. No oh man, I'm thirsty. <laughs> this is why I'm here. Hello? Uh, anyone? Um, I guess we just go through the door. Some shit. Dr. Richard Felton. Okay, so that's who owns this place. God damn, boy, you are rich as fuck. Alright, I like this. Yo, this looks this looks pretty cool. Um, okay, so we need to f f get inside the mansion and meet Dr. Felton. Alright, so I'm going to assume that we get up here, that we get inside the mansion through this building, through this little stairs over here. Uh, let me check everything out real quick though, cause you know, you never know. I might, I might get a weapon or something. I don't really know if there's any combat mechanics in here though. I don't have enough energy. Wait, we have an energy bar? Where? Oh, we're fucking breathing. Why are we breathing so heavy? Girl, no. Outlast two webs all over again. Hello? The gate was open. Are you there? I don't Hello? think anybody's going to answer this door. Is anyone there? Yeah, I don't really think anybody's going to answer this door. All right. Yeah, they said that we don't have enough energy. That's kind of crazy, though. What do you mean by we don't have enough energy? Oh, my God. Okay. So that's one thing that I got to uh, watch out for, obviously, energy. I mean, I, I could do that easily. Cannot do it now. I'm not even trying to do anything. I don't have enough energy. What can I not do now? What the fuck is space bar even supposed to be? Hold on. All right, I believe the door is around this corner. Then is it a, is it around this place? I don't know, but this place looks beautiful though. I kind of want to mention that it looks like this in real life, but a little bit more polished, you know, more, more, more pristine. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, not looking like one of those Resident Evil mansions, even though that mansion looked very pristine also. Um, all right, I need to stop running. I need to, yeah, I need to stop running. What's this? What is that? Definitely ain't anguishing. How? It's just a girl with her hand, her eyes being covered, dude. How is this? How is this anguishing, dude? Man, she's a, hold on. Yeah, she really looked like a fucking snob too, doesn't she? All right. Uh, I guess this is the main door we go through.
This is why your cardio is low now. You're fucking smoking, dude. Good evening, Miss am... Reed. You already told me at the intercom, and as I already told you, Mr. Felton is no longer a patient at the Center. I did. I came here voluntarily, outside the Institute. So what do you want? I am personally re-examining your case. Causes, reagents. I strongly believe there are alternative ways and probably other experiments that are worth a try. I am fighting with the Institute to recognize there are other adequate remedies for your husband's oh, pathology. Oh, no, please. I I'm just assisting him. I'm his nurse. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know. Uh, it's okay. I suppose you want to talk to him. That's the main idea, bitch. Thank you. I apologize for the darkness, but Mr. Felton's sight has been damaged and immensely compromised because of the disease. Anyway, I am Gloria. Oh, and please, refrain from smoking inside. Mr. Fountain hates the smell of smoke. Sorry. Exactly. That's why you should vape. You get a lot more benefit from vaping. A better taste, a better smell, and everything, dude. No one ever listens to Funky. Whoa, this looks amazing, girl. I mean, Please, Felton. This way. All right, we got to follow her. All right, I guess. Habit. What? Smoking? Yes, such a shame. You should quit. You have no idea how bad this is for you. Not only for your health, but it's also very expensive. Money and time wasted. I have so much to do every day. I couldn't waste time with such a bad habit. Do you assist Mr. Felton all day? Smoking isn't that bad of a habit. Okay, maybe I lied. Yeah, it is. I go back home. I live near here. If needed, he can contact me with a pager, but that's not often. His wife takes care of him when I'm off. Oh. What can you tell me about her? I met her just a couple of times. She's usually out or locked in her bedroom when I'm here. Let's say they don't seem to get along. Uh oh. I didn't know. But you know, when she's home, she listens to the same music, the same song, over and over. That seems kind of a boring lifestyle, dude. Having to take care of your husband or some shit like that, and then like I wouldn't know. I don't have a husband. Or a wife. I'm straight. So, I don't have a wife. I don't have anybody to love at all. Except for my mom and my dad. I love them very much with all my heart. <laughs> this way, please. Does this play look Felton nice, too? I bet it does. Okay. Wow, this looks amazing. I forgot to tell you guys that this game was also made in the Unreal Engine, so it still holds up to its time even after, even when Unreal Engine 5 is a thing. I don't know if any game has been made with Unreal Engine 5, but if there is, I gotta check it out, see how my PC holds up. Probably gotta upgrade soon anyway, but, um, ooh, oh my god, this looks better. This looks better, um, in-game, but nope, when it's not even a cutscene. What's this? Uh, new collectible unlocked. Okay, so whenever we look at pictures or paintings like this, it's going to be a collectible. The coronation of a virgin. The young girl gazes into the sky above with stunned eyes and a light hits her. But something is out of place. From the dark sky that threatens storm or d descending the hideous hands of stranger creatures. This picture makes me feel uncomfortable. I don't see any... Oh! I see it. Why did you tell me that? Alright. Okay. This place looks... This looks pretty freaky. Is this another collectible right here? Um, I bu is it? It is a painting. Uh, notary, patron, entrepreneur, and even etymologist with the green thumb. Okay, notary. I don't know if I said that right. Don't even care either. All right. Uh, this seems this seems like a place that I shouldn't even be at. But I'm gonna check it out anyway. Uh. Oh my goodness, what is all this, dude? This looks amazing. I know I keep saying the same thing, but it just looks beautiful. Ooh, there's a door behind us? Okay, um, can we check this out or no? Is that even a thing yet? Uh, okay, so it's not a thing yet. Okay, so I can't check it out. All right, uh, I think there was something else I could check out. That bookshelf on the other side of this wall, probably, if I'm not mistaken. Oh. Oh man, what the hell did I just do? I, I did something. 
Yeah. All right. Uh, let's go behind the desk. I might. Yeah, there's something behind the desk. <sighs> Hate having allergies, dude. All right. What is this? Uh, Mister and Mrs. Felton's farm. Rosso Gallo closes danger of contamination. All right. So they're farmers. Okay. Cool. All right, so um, I guess if you want to pause it, you can uh, read it there and, and everything else. Uh, let's let's look at the other side. Um, you damn son of a bitch! See what they write about me on the news? You wanted to tarnish me, but I'll get back at you. Oh, surely I will. Starting with your daughter. Do you believe she doesn't know who her father is? I'm sure he would be glad to know that she is his daughter. You've got balls. So you've got balls. Take your own responsibilities. What am I saying, balls? You never got balls. Well, if you're talking to a girl. Yeah, probably never got balls. Yeah, you you, you would be right. Something's odd with that painting. Hey, she's still checking it out. believe in God, miss. Well, Spencer? It would be too easy, wouldn't it? I believe in people's willpower. Everything else is not God, but an aptitude or mankind's cruelty. This is the kind of fairy tale I prefer at my age. When you're worn out from an incurable disease, you start having some doubts. Why Looks like Spencer from Resident right Evil. Small but lethal creatures. An arbiter. That's all we need. For what? It's wrong and crazy. It's human nature. That same nature in which we are equals to those ants eating each other. But pardon me, I forgot my manners. Please sit down. Dr. Reed, I suppose. Uh, sorry, Mr. Felton. Pleased to meet you. So you already met Gloria. Yes, yeah. she let me in. She's a great reference, extremely hardworking, but back to us. I don't recall seeing beautiful doctors like you at the Institute, Dr. Reed. <laughs> I am flattered, Mr. Felton. I arrived at the Institute just a few months after you left. And you left because... Inadequacy of the sanitary treatments within the structure. That's right. Okay. And in a few words? In a few words, they didn't know how to treat my case, and they left me there to die. But it seems that other issues took over. I once or twice refused to go through exams. Mr. Felton, is there anything I can do for you? Oh, Gloria, yes. See if Dr. Reed needs anything. Oh, no. May I offer you a cup of tea or coffee? Espresso? No, thank you. As you wish. How about you, Mr. Felton? No, thank you. I'll keep entertaining our guest. You can go now. This seems a little off. You're diagnosed. 1958. Yes, indicatively, some friends and She's died. listening to the other do the other side of the wall. And it got worse. In addition to the disease, the first exam showed some inconsistency. Some hormonal deficiency, overdose of non-prescribed drugs, opiates, anoxyl. Wasn't it recalled in the mid 60s? Doctor, don't you think that nowadays there are ways to obtain drugs without any prescription? Believe me, I know. I believe so. According to your file, you still receive your disability pension. Even better, it seems that the beneficiary is your wife, Ariana Gala. Exactly. She's the one who takes care of me when Gloria is off. How about your daughter? My daughter? Celeste has never come back home. Disappeared. She was adopted, am I right? Mm. The investigators confirmed that she intentionally left. That's never cap. never suspected a kidnapping since there was no ransom request. How about Weeman? Wasn't he a suspect? A flash in the pan. An idiot who brought confusion by sending warnings and threats. And her birth parents? Dr. Reed. Young girls often decide to just go. And this is what my daughter decided to do with- Jennifer. What did you say? At times, you'd call her Jennifer. No, my Mr. daughter- Mr. Felton, what has really happened to you, daughter? I just told How you! How about the off-the-record version? I am not sure- Girl, you better stop. With this, but I won't tolerate- I don't have the strength for this now! I know you've been trying to forget her, but this picture might help you to. What is this? Where did you get this picture? Isn't she your daughter? Celeste, or has you called her? 
Jennifer? I asked you a question. The back of the picture says Jennifer. There is no Jennifer! You thought I was stupid, didn't you, Mr. Felton? Bro, what do the you, hell's going do on? Do you really think I'd come here without knowing what I'm Who talking about? Who are you, and why did you come here? Did you come to my home to threaten me with your condescending Threatening tone? you? So maybe I should ask your wife then. She's not home. Cal! Mr. Felton, I just talked to the director of the Institute on the phone. They have never heard of Dr. Reed. She is not what she claims to be. Well, Miss Reed, if that is your real name, your time here has ended. Please, leave my property. Miss Gloria will escort you out. Please follow me. Mr. Felton, please, tell me what you did to your daughter! Good evening. Follow me. She's more than a nurse. She's a fucking escort, dude. Not a horny escort, dude. Oh my god. You know the way. What just happened? Even How do I do what? How do you even sleep at night? You use people's lives regardless of the pain you cause. The Feltons have been through a lot. And they are good people. Gloria, a young girl disappeared. We all know the story, unfortunately. A burden that the Feltons will have to carry for the rest of their lives. Celeste just left them. If that was the case, there was a motivation behind it. And it threatened her life. Man! Why are we? Is that the end of the game already, dude? I like this game. This is the best game ever. Man, no jump scares except for the title screen. And like, this is, oh my God, we about to leave. This is Paul game right here. I love it. Whoa. Oh, we stalking this bitch? We were told to leave the property, not come back. Oh my god. Allergies are good. Okay, I think this is where shit hits the fan now. Would you like to save your game? Oh, hell yes, dude. I think we should uh start to look for the... Oh, from now on, you can save your game only by using those. Oh. Oh, fuck. Okay, it's like Resident Evil saving. All right, so uh, this is where we're going to end the video. Oh, flashlight. That seems pretty cool right there. Okay, Um, I guess we, I guess we just... Okay, that's pretty cool. All right, we're going to end the video right here. Uh, unfortunately, I know all this was just mainly cut scenes and just me reacting to it. But uh, we're going to get with the main gameplay later on. Um, probably part two, maybe. Well, actually, for sure, part two. But anyway, thank you for watching. My name's Funky D. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.